What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Here we're taking a look at how to beat the blitz in Madden 25. What you want to look for when looking for a blitz speeding formation, and how I effectively uh, like to use blitz beaters in my offense. And one of the biggest keys uh, to to beating the blitz is having either a, a way to quick pass. And a way to quick pass is is uh, what I like to have is like quick screens or, or, or flat routes or stuff like that. The things that attack the defense uh, at the snap of the ball. So uh, you know, formations that come to mind when when thinking about something like this is the single back spread. Um, and the reason is because it spreads the defense out. It's easy to figure out if they're going to send pressure or if they're not. And uh, we're going to look at a video today. We're going to talk about the bubble screen in Madden 25. You guys know I really am a fan of the bubble screen. We're going to take a look at why I really like it so much. And uh, we're going to go over two different blitzing concepts. And uh, this is going to serve as our blitzing play out of the out of the um, what playbook, run and shoot playbook we're in. So uh, first things first, we're going to take a look at the zone blitz. And what we're going to see here is... If I snap the ball, if I just hike the ball, I know that there's no flat defenders out there, and I can easily hit Harris in the flat, make a move on a guy, get a block, and then you know get upfield quick. Now, obviously, you know that's not always going to be the case because there's situations where they may be cover three. Uh, in a situation like that, this is where we like to make one hot route. So you see that if they're in cover three, they're going to now uh, come over the wide receiver. So in that situation, what I like to do is I like to put Des Bryant on a drag route. And now you're going to see that the cover three is going to hold, and I can just hit the drag underneath. So now we're going to be able to beat zone all coverages in the game just with a couple quick hot routes. Situation where there may be a man blitz though, um, it's a lot more difficult because you see they're going to line up immediately over the guy. And uh, in situations where this uh, occurs, again, I really like to drag uh, and use a drag and a slant, depending on whatever side, it doesn't really matter. Uh, use those combinations, and we know that these bubble screens are going to still do a pretty good job at getting space against man because they just don't defend them very well. Um, and then you can, you know, if you have good user skill, you can turn those uh, two-yard gains into, you know, touchdowns. Um, but also, think about it like this. If, as soon as you see that the linebackers are going to blitz straight down, you know that you can hit it in the gap here in the slant. It's going to be wide open to Des Bryant, and, uh, you know, Des Bryant is one of the best receivers in Madden 25, so we can take that, uh, take advantage of that. And, you know, this is kind of what makes a good blitz beater, guys, because they have two quick reads here that we can get the ball out quick if the, def if the defense is honoring it. You see here in a situation where, you know, a lot of people are liking to shift the linebackers to the right out of the Sugar Ds this year. Uh, and I, I will admit I am one of them, but you see as soon as we see this guy blitz, we know we have that flat route and we know we can get the ball out of our hands quick. So, you know, this is what I like to have in a blitz beating uh, type of formation. Another thing you could do is use halfback option routes this year. Halfback option routes this year and last year, really effective against beating the blitz. You see that when they come out of the backfield, you're just going to lob it up and uh, hope he goes after the ball. Obviously, another good route to use is um, a streak route because it's going to go to the outside now. And it's going to dip right underneath there, kind of like a wide receiver double shake or Philly Y seam was last season. So this is kind of the basic principle of the spread. You know, I mean, if they're going to be blitzing, they're not going to have guys over them, guys. Uh, and if they do have guys over those guys, it's going to be man coverage typically. A uh, situation where they may, in a very rare situation, and again, this is very rare, um, you may see something like this where they go man coverage, and they're going to go man on one side and zone on the other and they're gonna you know kind of try to play it off like they're not gonna go so in this situation they're gonna go man to the left and they're gonna go zone to the right so they're gonna put the deep blue here and they're gonna make a really uh, a pretty good adjustment overall I mean when you think about it and uh, overplay overplay everything we can do in the right here with the man concept so here what we read is zone coverage but to the left side they're over the top of my receiver so I'm gonna put Miles Austin on a slant route and I'm gonna leave Harris blocking straight down and now you see, okay, the read is man coverage to the left. I can easily hit the, the Miles Austin slant. It's just all about reading the, reading the box. You know, if they're in a dime formation, because, I mean, yes, that was nickel, and I'm in a floor wide receiver set, so you're perfectly, you, you are perfectly uh, correct in saying that, hey, you're in a dime formation. You know, what if you're in a dime? A lot of people are going to use a dime to stop this. Well, okay, we're going to go to dime. We're going to look at a play. Uh, we're going to look at the play Foxfire Zone 2. And we're going to run the same exact play offensively and show you what I'm talking about. So you see, now they line up over the top. So this is a situation where you would make your hot route. So you would zig, or you would slant one, drag the other. And here, okay, we see that guy blitzes off the right edge, so we immediately throw the ball to the flats to Harris and uh, try to get upfield. Quick four or five yards, I mean, every time. That's, I'll take that all day. Uh, situation where they may be, uh, so now they blitz it off the left side, and now you got Terrence Williams in the flat. Maybe wait a little bit, get him upfield. Now, obviously, you don't have to, you don't even have to really put the receivers on a route uh, when they're blitzing. And it's actually going to be better for the bubble screen. 
but it might not be as good for the play overall because if they if they possibly call two men under at the right place at the right time on this bubble screen, uh, it can limit the gains you can get. You see there, I only got a yard or two. Um, especially plays like cover two make this play hard to run uh, when not using when not using hot routes. Um, I mean, it's all right, but it's not perfect, and uh, we're looking for perfection here out of a blitz beater. I mean, this is really good, but you see, against the right defense, I mean, usually against zone coverage, you're going to be fine. Usually you're going to be fine against zone coverage. The, the issue becomes in the two-man under situation because you can't read, you can't tell if they're using a good discipline defense. And so when we try to throw this man-beating route, yeah, it can beat one of the guys over there, but it can't beat both all the time. So you're going to have to rely on yourself to break a tackle. So a situation where they be sending a man pressure blitz, though, if they are sending pressure, and we, again, we like to slant and use the drag combination. Okay, we see he blitzes off that right edge, so we immediately throw to Harris, make a, make a juke, make a spin move, something. Try to get in the open field and uh, move the ball quick. That's why I like to have these routes. So, um, again, your first reads are the bubble screens just to see who, if they're blitzing off the edge. That time they blitzed off the right and left edge, so I can, I can throw either screen. Um, this time they're going to be playing a discipline coverage, just to show you. Cover three. So, okay, they don't blitz, so I can hit my slant route. I know that the slant route is going to beat cover three in that situation. All right, and then, you know, now they just go basic two-man under. Basic two-man under. I know my bubble screen is really good against one-on-one -on -one man coverage, so I just throw it to him and let him get upfield. A lot of times, guys, it's very difficult to tackle that route uh, in this year's game. And then the situation where they may be sending a man blitz. All right, they send it, set up a man blitz here, and we see that they blitz off the edge, so we know that our first read is our bubble screen. We make a, a guy miss, and we try to, you know, just go upfield. So this is really good. It also allows us for uh, easy plays like this inside zone here. We're just going to snap the ball and try to get try to get upfield uh, against a five-man box. You know, five offensive linemen, five defenders in the box. Tip typically, we'll be able to break that off for at least a quick five yards. It allows us to have an idea of when we can run and when we can't, when they're going to be playing coverage D, when they're not. A lot of times, people will slide guys in. Uh, and it just won't work against the single back spread, guys. So definitely like the single back spread for blitz beating this year, especially at a bubble screen play. So be sure to add this play to your arsenal and, and kind of just work off the concepts we were talking about. You know, quick pass, quick pass, quick pass, routes that go to the flats, routes that go to the intermediate of the field to kind of take away those underneath stuff that a lot of zone blitzing defenses cannot stop. So thanks for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And also, guys, if you want any if you guys want any feedback, I, excuse me, I would like to hear your feedback. So you guys have any way of giving me some feedback on how the videos look, how they're going, how it's working, if it's working for you, uh, let me know in the comments below. And then lastly, guys, if you would do me a huge favor, and if you really are enjoying the channel, shout this video out on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later.